hey everyone welcome to my channel today we're going to be learning how we can create this realistic ink drop text reveal animation within after effects so for this i have used autofill plugin for creating such really cool animation you can use any version of autofill doesn't matter so let's get started i have already added my own logo which i prefer to use in this tutorial after going under this autofill preset, you will find your logo and place your logo right here. Once this logo is placed, go to edit autofill and place the points where you want the logo to be revealed. I have placed my own points to make this logo reveal as I wanted. So this is how it's looking. It's pretty simple. Not much of a tricky part. Alright, so to make the animation happen, we need to create a separate comp. To do so, I'll just drag and drop this autofill there to create another comp of the same. In this way, I will get a separate comp for this. And I'll just turn off the grid. We now need to add the paper background to this composition. For that, go to Asset. Under that, you will find a Wrinkle Paper PNG. Drag this down below. I'm just scaling it down a little to make it a perfect fit, like so. I just feel the paper is a little dull and I want to increase a bit of exposure. So for that, I am going to add Level. It looks pretty good to me so now what we need is a tool called gradient we can find it under this project section under the tool and this is the gradient what we gonna need I'll just drag it right above this layer and uh, as you can see the gradient so what this tool exactly do is indicate the white part as a motion and uh, the blended black part shows as it's going still all right so uh, i'll just show you quickly how this exactly is working and using this effect i'm going to create the realistic ink drop animation all right so i'm switching off the solo and for your reference i'll just turn this layer off so we can see what's going on and we have to drop the effect called extract so this extract effect will do is it will sort of remove the darker black part and blend into the whiter part and uh, in this way we can create some sort of like a trail going on over the text I'll show you how it's gonna work I'll just turn off both the layers down there and go to extract effect hold this point and drag forward to the whiter shade all right I'll just show you how it is going right now you can see some sort of a liquidy effect going on right now and we need to create a trail uh, maybe a faded trail so in this case we need to hold this point right here and drag like so and you can see the trail is forming and uh, this is what we wanted so this is how it's working looks great now i'm turning on both the layers right here and uh, what i'm gonna do is add fill effect to it to give it a color just for your reference so you understand what's going on so this is how it's gonna look uh, the red part is gonna be the ink and the black part is is our logo or the text whatever you're gonna put now let's move ahead and create a drop effect so just before that I will 
change the blend mode of this logo to classic color bone and uh, maybe I'll just change the color to maybe this one or a little bit darker and for the drop color I'll just choose a different color maybe a little darker from this one looks good now let's move ahead and create a drop effect to create that go to layer style bevel and emboss now let's play with the properties of bevel and emboss so i will keep the depth to maybe 140 i'll choose to go with the size of three and uh, rest i guess yeah i'll just change the altitude to make it look a bit more shiny so i'll just keep it around 60 and we can always make the shadow white and blend mode to screen because we don't want the darker part to appear on this layer now to uh, make it look more realistic we need to duplicate this layer and on this layer i'll just decrease the tail size to maybe a little maybe just a little closer to the white part yeah like so and what i will do play with the layer properties bevel and emboss uh, let's change the depth to 100 for this layer 10 let's say for the size and let's make this 70 and angle to maybe 140 yeah I guess this looks pretty good to me it's really simple just play around with the layer and we are not yet done so we need to duplicate the gradient once again and go to layer style bevel and emboss again the properties so uh, what I'm gonna do here I will just change the blend mode to screen okay so what this is going to do this will be a little highlighted part of uh, the drop which will give a bit of shinier maybe a more realistic sort of effect so i will just decrease the size maybe just a little and just change the color to a bit more darker as you can see it's giving just a little highlight over here to give more realism more realistic look let's play with the properties right here we can increase the size to maybe 13 let's say and we will increase this angle to maybe around 215 the altitude say keep it 70 I'm just playing around with the properties to make it look more realistic and more shiny sort of a, a liquid you can also play with the properties to make it look as per your requirement this looks pretty good to me we are almost there we just need to create a little bit of shadow right here so let's duplicate this one and we can just rename it to shadow and for giving a shadow we can go to layer style once again and go to drop shadow it's looking much more realistic and for the drop shadow I'll just go to the properties and change the angle to maybe 90 
We can just increase the size. Duplicate it once more. And we can just reduce the size on this layer. Maybe five. Maybe five, yeah. Looks pretty cool. Make sure to play around with the properties and create your own amazing animations. Have fun and tag me on my Instagram handle. I will be coming up with more amazing animation tutorial. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. See you until next time.